Hello, my name is Martin and I am creator of Holy Roman Empire board game. The Holy Roman Empire was a multi-ethnic complex of territories in Western and Central Europe that developed during the early Middle Ages. In this board game, player will control one state that belongs to Holy Roman Empire. Player's goal is to conquest as many territories as he can until he reaches victory goal. During the whole game, player except conquesting will have to manage resources of the state, armies, relationships between other states and will be resulting various events. In this video, I will be showing you the game in tabletop simulator application and also custom slides to help you better understand the game. There are seven types of cards in the game. State cards, rural cards, general cards, territory cards, emperor's card, global event cards and action cards. Let's take a look at each type and explain how cards works. First type of card is state card. Every player at the start of the game randomly draws state. Currently there are 8 states implemented in the game. Austria, Bohemia, Brandenburg, Mainz, Palatinate, Saxony, Trier and Savoy. Each state has two slots for allies and two slots for rivals. With these slots, players can make relationships with other states. It is very profitable to make allies because they can help you in battle and secure your victory. It is also good to make rivals. When conquesting territory which belongs to rival, you don't have to pay any conquest fee. All other states that you don't declare as ally or rival remains neutral towards you. In the bottom half of the state card we can see resources of the state. Top resource is manpower. With manpower, player can build armies, upgrade generals and other things. Middle resource represent provisions. Provisions are one of the most important resources in the game. They are required for building armies, boosting, boosting army strength in battle and the most important for remaining in the battle. Your armies have to eat and saving provisions can win you battles. Last resource is state treasury and also called simply gold. Gold is also required for certain type of unit to be built, but mostly important for bidding on action card, hiring new generals and other events. Each state have different starting resource income, but every state start with current resource value of 5. Let's take a look at the rural card. There are 24 rural cards in the game, 3 for each state. At the start of the game, player will draw random rural card from his state and place it above the state card. After that, place edge counter on the first slot. When edge counter reach the last slot, ruler will die and player can draw a new one from his or ally ruler pile. Every ruler has also special effect. General is a commander of your army. Same as with the ruler, player will draw one general from the pile of your state and place it on the left from the state card. So if you play for Bohemia, you can draw only from Bohemian generals. Let's explain how general work. There are three types of units, infantry, cavalry and cannon. Each of these units represent one army strength. So if you build 5 infantry units, your commander's strength is 5. There are multiple ways how to boost your general strength. First one is formation bonus. Formation bonus is achieved by building required composition of units. In this case we can boost general strength by 2 by building 2 infantry and 3 cavalry units. Second one is general bonus. This bonus is achieved when conquering certain types of territories. In this case, our strength is boosted by 3 when defending or attacking villages. Remember, this effect can be active only when our general achieved formation bonus. Last one is military reputation. Military reputation is stackable attribute that boosts strength. It can be bought for any resource, but more you buy it, more expensive it is. Next type of card is territory. Conquering territories is the only way how to win the game. There are three types of territories, villages, towns and forts. Victory goal can be set before the game to any value. 
If players want to play shorter game, victory goal can be set to two forts, one town and one village, for example. If players want the longer game, victory goal can be adjusted. Each round, each player draw one territory card, which player can choose to conquest or not to. Non-player territories are defended by default strength, which equals to double of round value. So if the game round is 2, the def default defense of non-player territory is 4. Territories controlled by players have defense effect, which are affecting the defender. When territory is conquested, card is placed next to the ruler and income is adjusted according to territory type occupation. Emperor card Owner of Holy Roman Emperor card is randomly chosen every even round. This card is providing state with various bonuses but also with some conquest restrictions. By default, Austria is Holy Roman Emperor when the game is starting. Does not matter if the state is controlled by a player or not. Global Event Card Two Global Event cards are drawn and resolved every round. Action Cards Every round plays one action card face up in front of every player. All players can bid with gold on that card and try to win it. Highest bidder wins the card. Biddings on card always starts the player which is placed in front of him. Now we know what type of cards are in the game. Let's take a look how start of the game looks and then I will show you how game round is played. So let's see how start of the game looks. Draw random state. Always put one less non-player state in game than player states. So, for example, if three players are, are playing, put two non-player states in the game too. Don't worry, non-player states are valuable allies in battle too. Remember, Austria is Holy Roman Emperor from the start. If no player chose Austria, make non-player state play Austria and put Emperor's card next to his state card. Choose random ruler. Choose random general and set your resources to 5. Set round dice to 1 and place button to random player. Button represented in some round phases player with the button is playing first. Game is set, now take a look how round is played. Round is divided into 10 phases. Make relations, draw and resolve to global cards, hire new generals, build army and improve military reputation, draw conquest cards, play action cards, bid on action cards, state income, add age on the rulers, vote for next emperor only in even rounds, and the last phase is move button clockwise, add round to round dice, and repeat round until victory condition is made. First phase, make relations is very easy phase. Make alliances with those states you think are the best for you and can help you in battles. Player must agree with your alliance when non-player state agree automatically with your alliance proposal. To broke an alliance you have to pay two gold to do so. Cancelling rival status and create a new one is for free in this phase. You can have maximum two alliances. And alliance with player can be made only if four or more players are playing. Phase 2. Draw and resolve two global event cards. Phase 3. You can hire new generals for five gold and five provisions. You can build new armies. You can assign units between generals and you can improve military reputation. Remember, one general can command maximum 10 units and your formation bonus can be stacked to time. Phase 4. Draw Conquest Territory card. Pay one of occupation resource to start conquest on neutral territory. If you draw your own territory, shuffle the card back and draw a new one. If you draw a light territory, you can shuffle it back and draw a new one, or 
you can choose not to conquest it and add one resource displays in occupation of the card or you can start conquest on allied territory the alliance is broken and decrease your military reputation on declared general by two if player choose not to conquest the territory discard territory and add one resource displays displayed in occupation of the card if you decide to conquest the territory the battle consists of two stages stage one conquest prepare stage two conquest round which repeat until the one side forfeit the battle stage one conquest prepare consists of five phases phase one attacker declare generals phase two defender declare generals phase three attackers ally can join conquest here if ally join conquest is skip first conquest round ally can ask resources for helping and if you call non player ally he will always join with a double round value of army strength so if the round is two the non player ally will join with four army strength defender also can call his ally to join the conquest with the same uh, info behind and phase 5 all generals can upgrade their military reputation now after conquest prepare conquest round take place conquest round is divided into seven phases first phase calculate attackers defender strength that means army formation bonus military reputation general bonus phase 2 every declared general consume one provision if not enough provisions sacrifice 1k unit phase 3 every player can buy one strength for one provision for this round only this means you can buy a strength like bonus for this round phase 4 non participated player states can support only one side with one strength for any one resource you can bribe players to do so phase 5 every player except allies roll dice it's something like fight like this uh, add value di dice value is added to the strength side with lowest strength value must sacrifice one army unit so if you lost you must sacrifice one army unit and this round is repeated until one side forfeit the battle if attacker forfeit the territory is dis discarded if defender forfeit the territory is uh, captured for the attacker and some little info to conquest uh, if non-player is defending without help he will forfeit after first conquest round when losing otherwise he have unlimited provisions for generals and other player roll fight luck for him and if player is helping non-player state as an ally player will control the battle like uh, fight luck and choosing where to forfeit the battle continue even non-player lost first conquest round because ally is on the way to help him phase 5 in the round is play action cards uh, here you can play your action card play with the button is playing first and remember there are some action cards that can be played uh, in the other phases like cancelling uh, conquesting and and so on phase 6 uh, draw action card in front of every player phase up and start bidding on a one by one card start on the card with the button phase 7 is state income uh, add your resources based on your income from your state and your territories and other cards phase 8 add age on your ruler if your ruler die and age is on the last slot you will die and you can draw your next ruler from your or your ally pile phase 9 in uh, even rounds you have to vote for the no next holy roman emperor roll 
emperor vote and count two from the button in this case it's palatinate so he will become new emperor last phase of the, of the round move button to the next player clockwise add round value and if uh, no one uh, made victory condition uh, repeat the round from the phase one thank you very much for watching the tutorial for holy roman empire not all rules are, are explained in details in this video but you should be able to play play the game by by the rules i told you uh, i will upload the map to the steam workshop uh, the game is called tabletop simulator simulator you can play it there if you want to play just leave your uh, steam nick in the comments below i will add you to the steam we can play together and that's it. Have a nice day.